Hi, welcome to the quick start guide for Race Studio 2 and downloading data from your data key onto the analysis software. Okay, to get started, you'll need to open up Race Studio 2. Um, now, once you've downloaded the data from your Micron 4 into your data key and connected it to the USB, this is a program you want to open. This is where we download the data from. So, first button you want to press is download data. Okay. Now this is your computer connecting to the USB data key and what we get popping up is this little window with all the sessions that are on the data key. Um, if you want to select all the sessions for download we click, click select all. If you want to just deselect them just click deselect all. We've also got some options down here. We've got clear data key, um, self explanatory if you want to delete all the sessions off your data key. Um, here we have download selected runs then clear memory so that's the way of downloading it onto your computer then it clears the memory on your data key and then download selected um, just for now we want to say download the last two sessions of the day we can click this little tick box here first of all you must click the session like this that selects the session and then you can tick the box okay it won't tick straight away. Um, if I show you on session 6, click it once, the tick won't come, so then you have to click it again. Okay, so we've got our last two sessions selected, and we'll click download selected. Okay, now the computer is downloading the data from the data key that's connected to your computer and putting it onto your computer. Okay, so now it's done. Now the data is onto your computer, let's go to analysis. So we click go to analysis. This opens up the Race Studio 2 analysis software. First time you do that, this will pop up. Um, it's just a setting screen for the analysis software. And we have settings for no gearbox analysis for the car, shifter car analysis, um, formula car analysis, and so on. Um, we're just going to be using normal cart analysis for single gear class. There's a little tick box down here. Um, this, if you leave this ticked, it means every time you start Race Studio, this will pop up. Um, I like to leave that clicked because you never know when you might be, you know, doing data for a shifter car, a car, or even a bike. So we'll just click back to our setting that we want, and we'll go continue. Now, here's the software. Here's our two sessions that we've downloaded, and they are under the test database. Okay, and let's say we want to open up the last session to get ready for analysis. We'll double click that. Okay, once we do that, this may pop up, which is the measures graph. Okay, and just for now, we don't want to look at that just yet. If you go down here, there's a tab that says measures graph. If we go here, it says test database and lap manager. So we'll go back to that, but we'll close this first just by going up here and there's a little X here which will close the measures graph. Be careful not to use the actual software close button, you just want to close the measures graph which is that button there, which this automatically takes us to the test database and lap manager. Once we're here, this is where we can activate and deactivate laps ready for analysis. Um, that's it just for now. Um, we will have a video for you to show you how to use the software and get using it to start analysing the data and using the different graphs and channels.